our organization has been really focused on what helps schools use data well to improve student performance, where really the school and what is going on it is the unit we're most concerned on. Um, early on in our work as a partner, a support organization, um, we became aware that high schools, which is our uh, area of concentration, have relatively few benchmarks across the four years in New York. In New York, you have to pass five regions and 44 credits in different areas to get a diploma, but there's really very little guidance on what you have to have done by the second semester of your 10th grade in order to be really on track to do that. So we produced a whole lot of reports, very colorful, um, very uh, clear graphically, um, to begin to, to disentangle that for schools, looking at what uh, an on-track metric would look like, who was on track, almost on track or off track. Um, we updated those three to four times a year um, and prepared different kinds of reports for use by school leaders, teachers, parents, and students. Um, and then we began to learn as we had rolled those out. Um, we prepared those reports with huge input from schools, but we found as we worked with schools using them, that essentially we had created a much more sophisticated kind of demand. Schools began to articulate the need for much more just-in-time data, not three to four times a year. They began to articulate um, a, a need for data that went far beyond the sort of summative information uh, that you would normally collect in uh, a data system in a school system. Um, so this fall, we rolled out a proprietary system to begin to address some of those pieces of, of complaint. And um, essentially, we're now tracking the adoption and diffusion of that system. I think that history, though, led us to a series of basic lessons learned. And I wanted to highlight five. Um, first, um, schools are already complicated clusters of systems, both human and electronic. And any data system introduction that assumes a tabula rasa will fail, right? Systems need to be flexible. They need to permit ad hoc groupings of students and data points and the introduction of new variables that are very important to a specific school in order for the system to attract and keep users. Secondly, urban school systems or urban schools struggle against chaos and they value cohesion and predictability. It's less important to have a single integrated data platform than to have platforms that are integrated into the workflow of the school. So unless you can make school level human processes easier, um, teachers and school staff will view a system and its use as compliance and rather than as something that is uh, really fundamentally important to improve their own practice. Um, thirdly, data can be a powerful lever to empower students to take responsibility for their own learning. Um, if you make transparent to adolescents the relationship between their day, -to -day behavior and their long-term expressed goals for their future, you can see light bulbs begin to go off and students um, start to understand that if they miss 30, 40 days of school a year, that could be the reason they're far behind. Um, fourth, I think the most effective data reporting <clears throat> provides a really rich picture of what is happening in a school and that that rich picture is a critical element to stimulating the conversation that can lead to changes in teaching and learning in a school. That means surrounding the normal summative data around test scores and um, grade point averages with daily outtakes from student work, for, with anecdotals, um, and with process information about how well a school is adhering to its purported uh, policies and practices. Um, finally, the dichotomy uh, between administrative and instructional systems, I believe, is a false one. All systems in schools um, are uh, really capable of enhancing or making more difficult um, the um, uh, effective learning of students. Um, programming and scheduling, for example, which most of you see as a sort of administrative fun function that takes place somewhere in the principal's office and that's a very little, little import, if it's done badly, can lead to real turbulence in the school in the first two months of the year. 
that impacts uh, students' ability to focus in the critical early months um, of the beginning of the year. We've begun to study variables like school turbulence um, that I think are neglected but important factors in understanding student performance. Finally, um, appropriate to the theme of the next 10 years, I want to point out the critical nature of um, the Common Core Standards work that is going on around the country that I think will revolutionize what data we collect. Uh, because um, tracking students' mastery of concepts, their ability to write, uh, figuring out the right data points that allow you to understand whether a student is moving forward in this very, very different uh, perspective of the Common Core, I think will take a great deal of thought uh, over the next several years. Thanks.